I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm showing you my beautiful brand new Gretsch Penguin guitar. <laughs> I never know the, the name of the model because it's always very strange. Uh, I'll put it in the description. I've never dreamed to have a guitar like this. This is the version I, I've thought about getting the White Falcon, but this is way more suitable and way more elegant for me. It's a Les Paul size guitar, but it has all the appointments. It's made in Japan. It's the, the top of the line um, Gretsch model. And I just freaking love it. I'm just having some intonation issues because it, it's fully stuck, so I haven't changed the strings yet. But the G string is not getting always in tune, but I think that's just a string that's not a good one. So it has great appointments, but the thing I really love about the guitar is the electronics and the looks. But first of all, let me thank my dear patrons for supporting the show. You guys are really great. Thank you so much for being here for me and helping me keep on doing this. You can also become a patron yourself if you're not one of my good fellow patrons. You just go to the link, follow the steps, easy as easy can be, and you'll be getting early access to episodes, a free video lesson every week, and a free backing track every month. You can also support the channel by contributing to the tip chart, and if you're interested in guitar lessons or vocal lessons with me, just hit me an email or a direct message via Instagram and Facebook, and we'll deal with it from there. Let's go! So the magic thing about this guitar is the pickups, the switching system, besides the freaking great electronics and having a Bigsby, which is great for me. I love this uh, switching and it always uh, kind of was a, mis a mystery for me because I'd never understood why two three-way switches here. So let me explain what it does. This is a tone control. So instead of having a tone control like this in a, in a pot, you have three options of tone. That's it. No intermediate. So this is bridge volume, neck volume. This is master volume. Why the difference? This two don't, don't have treble bleed. This has a treble bleed. I'll go there in a minute. So, well, I'll go there immediately. This is the tone. In the middle, it's off. No tone. Bridge pickup. Middle pickup. Well, it's not middle pickup, it's a combination of neck and middle. Neck and bridge. Just neck. So, sound wise, to me, this guitar fills the space between a Les Paul and a Tally. It's fatter than a Tally, but it's way brighter than a Les Paul, and it has a brightness that only Gretsch gives you. But the clever thing, and I'll probably be tweaking this to my personal taste. So the clever thing is you have two tone caps value in here. So basically, when you use the down, you have a tone cap that kind of darkens a little, but not too much. So it just takes the bite off. So here's with no tone cap. Here's with a tone cap. So to my ears, this makes it be a little more humbucker sounding, a little more Gibson sounding. But I don't really love it in the bridge pickup. I love it in the neck. When you have it in the neck. And you put it. It gives it a little mid-range bump. So what I think I'll do is I'll keep this one, but I'll change the other one because the other one is too dark for me. So if you move it up, it's way darker. Compared to no tone. 
So this, I think it's not really usable. What I'll do is probably use the magic cap, so a very, very, very tiny value cap in this position, which will make a good thing for the bridge just to tame the highs when I don't want it. But I love this tone on the middle and neck position. Instead of... Sometimes it's too thin. I love it being this thin. And you, if you had a little gain by the King of Tone, for example... Makes it sound a little more like an unbooker. On the bridge position... It gets a little too mid-rangey, too nasal for me. It's cool if you want that, that sound, but it's not as, as I would like to use it. And for the darker tones like in between, if you just roll a little bit of the volume on either pickup, it will get you like a way smoother tone, like bridge. <laughs> Instead of... So this is a simple way of taking off that little edge if you just back the volume just a little, just like barely turning it off and it will take the edge off. But I think I will, I will change the cap here. Otherwise this is gold appointments. It's a hollowed guitar. I haven't even took off the paper that comes under the... Um, the bridge, uh, it's really stuck. I played it once live at the jam session I run every Wednesday and I love the playing of the guitar. It's not a super light guitar because the Bigsby and, and this metal appointment, so it's a little heavier than it should be, uh, than, than a hollow guitar should be, but it's really great. The tuners are also not that incredible for, my, for the price point of this guitar, but everything else is just incredibly great uh, to play with. The, the, the Bigsby is such a great thing, like if you, if you have a reverb and a tremolo. It's just a great inspiring guitar and because it's hollowed it really resonates when when you hit it like I'm, I'm using the soul food uh, modified by JHS you can watch it on my pedal studio pedal board video um, here's the link uh, but um, I'm using it just to give a little more but it's not distortion <laughs> Yeah. 
hear this feedback going, the, the guitar going into feedback, this is because it's hollow and it has this magic like always on, on the verge of a f bright high pitched feedback, it's not a low feedback. <laughs> It's just a magical guitar, but it can rock and roll a lot with the Compeagan Bender. <laughs> So this is it, a magical guitar I've been dreaming about for ages, it's finally mine. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, uh, if you have any doubt if this was helpful to you, I'd love to hear your comments. Of course I'm using a right on strap, I love right on straps, I'm thinking of buying one for this guitar, like a white one, they're incredible, made in, in Spain, really really great, um, but this is... For now, it stays on this guitar. Thank you so much. You know, if you want to become a patron, you just go to the link and you'll be getting early access to episodes, a free video lesson every week and a free backing track every month. You can also support the channel by contributing to the tip chart on PayPal. You'll, help him, you'll be helping me because I'm doing this all on my own. That's the way to fund the channel. It's by what whatever YouTube is giving me, but mainly from what you people are helping and supporting. Thank you so much. We'll see each other next week. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.